I'm excited to have everyone join us today. Um, this is also being hosted by the NBA on Instagram. So I know this is Facebook, but um, if you want to watch it on the NBA, go over to my Instagram, Bridget Gibbs Yoga, or the NBA, or Miles Turner. And we're just going to do a kind of a quick flow today just to kind of get everybody moving and get everybody um, just positive and hopefully having a great day. <laughs> Good over here. Anyway. <laughs> All right, we're uh, about to start. So everybody, yeah. everybody wants to zoom in. Everybody wants to zoom in. Hey, everyone! Hopefully, you guys will be able to join us uh, flowing today. It'll be sponsored by the NBA, and then it'll be on there on uh, my Instagram, so you can go over there. Uh, Miles and I are gonna do some flowing, and um, oh, for the intro, I'm gonna walk up to you. Hopefully, for the intro, um, yeah, for right. Get everybody to see what I look like. Move your body. Look at the answer right there. You can slow it down. Oh, Excited you guys are able to join me today. As you know, I'm going to say uh, me and uh, Bridget Gibbs over here. Hi. We're going to take everybody through a quick uh, yoga flow today. And one thing I do want everybody to remember about yoga is that this should be fun for everybody. You know, I want everybody to try and follow along and just uh, try to get a glimpse of kind of how I work out and doing what I do every day. I mean, uh, a lot of people say, you know, oh, yoga's for girls or oh, yoga is uh, it's for sissies. Man, it, I'm telling you, just try this little... 20, 25 minute class we're about to do and see if you still have the same, still, still, see if you still feel the same way. But um, just real quick, I know everybody's, um, you know, we're living in some weird times right now, you know, COVID-19 and it's uh, it's impacted me directly, because you know, a lot of people know that my father had it and, um, you know, through, through blessing and he's he's doing a lot better now. He's, um, he's fully recovered, but just seeing what it can do to a family is really a, uh, Hold my eyes on it. And I just want to make sure everybody's taking it very seriously. And we gotta practice social distancing. And I just see me and Bridget here. We measured it out. We're good. <laughs> Six feet ish apart. <laughs> um, continue to wash your hands. And man, just just stay safe out there. You know, I've been during this time off. I've had a lot of time just to reflect and just work on myself. Um, still doing my puzzles. Still doing my Legos. Everybody knows. Mm -hmm. well, if you know me, you know that's what I'm about. I play my video games and uh, just staying in shape. Just doing whatever I can to. Uh, Make this time pass by, um, but really, man, I'm just I'm excited, man. You know, I'm excited that you know, I got the opportunity just to kind of express some of my love for yoga and uh, let everybody else uh, join me. So we're gonna start with a breathing technique. I think one of the most important things in yoga is breathing itself. That makes the class so much easier and and that much more difficult as well. So I'll let Bridget explain what the breath of fire is and also let her touch on the breath. So uh, take it away. Hi everyone, um, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I love this guy, everything I throw at him, he just takes it and uh, I gotta be careful what I throw at him. But yes, like he said, breathing is so, so important and it's, um, otherwise it's just mediocre gymnastics. Um, it's one of the biggest things and then also mindset. So, um, and he has seen that I think through our process of how the mindset and the breath, all of that comes into play. But so we always start each practice with a breath of fire. It's an upregulating breath and it turns on your nervous system and gets your body ready for practice. It also helps clear out your nasal passages because we're breathing in and out through the nose, keeping our mouth closed the entire time. So our mouth is for eating, our nose is for breathing. And so we're trying to control the breath and extend our breath. So we're actually decreasing the blood, the blood oxygen levels in a yoga practice. So we're uh, <laughs> making oxygen more readily available, but we're, but we're not um, increasing oxygen during the practice. So um, I'll show you with my mouth open, but we do it with our uh, mouth closed. And just so you guys can get the understanding, we're pressing everything out from our stomach and it's So it's, but we're doing it with our nose. And the inhalation just comes automatic and it just really helps get your nervous system ready because we're always doing nervous system training here in yoga. So, 
If y'all are ready, we um, take a deep inhale, and when we do, our ribs come out really, really wide, and our belly comes out right because we're horizontal breathers, not vertical breathers. And so big belly breath, and then when we exhale, we want to exhale all the air out as much as we can, and then we'll inhale deeply, and then we'll exhale, 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 exhale. So eyes closed, stacking your vertebrae. Just taking a second to root down, become grounded. And then inhale, big belly breath. And then exhale all your air out. And then inhale deeply. And exhale, 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 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Exhale, 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 exhale. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. And we're connecting energies here. Our heart has more energy in it than all the cell phones in the world combined. So having a good frequency, setting an intention for your practice today, like Miles was saying, gratitude, even in these scary times, unsure times, just changing how you think. And then slowly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a little technical difficulties, everybody, my apologies. Yes, we're, oh, anytime we're done with technology. And so that was, all, that was our energy in our hearts, the melody. <laughs> And then so slowly open your eyes and come to your downward facing dog. So as we get started, guys, just know that it's a, this practice is vinyasa and ashtanga for people that know um, yoga. So most of the poses we're going to be doing are pretty basic, but they're going to start getting a little bit more advanced as we continue. So if you can't do the poses, it's okay. Just come to child's pose, just to, uh, relax, and just try to follow, follow along. But follow along as best as you can. We're going to get started. Get it going. Look at that broken toe pose, too. Proud of you. <laughs> and so take a, like a little bit of a bend here in your down dog. Just kind of walking your dog. Just kind of swaying side to side. Make sure you're kind of gripping your mat with bridges and domes so you're not dumping into your wrists. And your gaze is kind of at your knees or your belly button, trying to pull that chest through. And so like he was saying, breathing is such an important part. So inhale deeply, big belly comes out. And then exhale, belly goes down. Inhale, belly comes out. Exhale, belly goes down. Inhale, belly goes out. Exhale, belly goes down. And then just taking a few minutes, minutes, <laughs> few breaths here. And then slowly coming to a plank position. So in your plank position, make it long, make it strong. So in yoga, we are disciplining our mind through our body. So when it gets tough, we push into the pain. So hold. Make sure your quads are engaged, your hands are pulling back towards your toes, lengthening in the spine, hold. Come on, you guys got this, breathe. And then come about three inches more forward, lowering just halfway down and hold on the exhale. 
and then slowly lower your body all the way down to your mat. I'm told I have to be nice today. <laughs> and so just take your arms just kind of right in front of you, tuck your elbows in, and just come up to a little mini cobra, kind of pressing your pelvis into the mat. Try to engage your glutes. So we always forget about the glutes and really, really important. So really trying to make that mind-body connection and breathe. And then slowly lower down, take both arms out to the side like a big T. And take your left leg and come up and over. And just kind of notice how when you breathe really um, deeply through the nose, your body will start to open up. In yoga, we're doing nervous system training. And then slowly switch. Again, just noticing how your low back starts to open up. And then slowly coming back, tuck your toes and step back to your downward facing dog. Taking a lot of weight into your hands, start to tiptoe up to the front, like really trying to keep all the weight into your hands. Step into the, to your hands and then grab opposite elbows forward fold. Take a deep bend here in your knees, the first forward fold. And then inhale all the way up, palms pressed together, reaching up towards the ceiling, gauge your quads, pull your shoulder blades back. Take a little bit of a back bend here. So especially with us all sitting so much, posture is really important. We can start losing our breath with bad posture. And as you exhale, take a little bit more of a back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, step back to your half push-up. Inhale, upward facing. Pull your chest through and hold for a second. Breathe. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take your heels together. Bend your knees out wide. Take weight into your hands. Step or jump. So make sure you're really lightly jumping, engaging your core. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, palms press together. <coughs> and then as you exhale, reaching over to the right, keeping your arms straight and by your ears. Again, working on that posture. Posture your chain is so important. Inhale, back to center. And then exhale, reaching over to the left. Keeping your arms as straight as you can, palms together because it's harder. Don't cheat and grab thumbs. <laughs> Inhale back to center. I don't ever let anybody get away with anything. Exhale forward fold. Inhale to your flat back and exhale step back to your half push up. Just getting our body warmed up. Inhale upward facing. Exhale downward facing dog. Take your heels together, bend your knees out wide, step or jump. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, palms pressed together. And then hands to prayer center. So again, just focusing on a little bit of gratitude. Before I hurt you, inhale, rise up. <laughs> and then bend your knees deeply, touch the floor and reach up. This is everyone's favorite pose. So make sure you can see your toes. If you can't sink back further and give yourself a little micro tuck so we're not dumping into the low back. Breathe and sink lower. Hands to prayer center. Left elbow goes on the outside of your right knee and twist. So take your time to twist correctly really pressing to twist. And if you're okay here, you can straighten out your arms and come to this way. Or if you would like to advance your pose, because we always, always want to try more, we can go into a side crow.
and then coming back up. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to call you out. <laughs> Love you, mean it. <laughs> Exhale, forward fold. <laughs> Give yourself a second. So we always, always want to try to be able to advance ourselves. It makes us proud. Bend your knees deeply, touch the floor, reach up. Hands to prayer center. Right elbow comes on the outside of your left knee this time and twist. So take your time to twist. Sinking a little lower, trying to get your butt below your heart. And so again, if you can try to advance that pose, taking it down to the side, maybe even try and fall an angel. Triangle. Woo! 
Yes, and if you can, you can try to reach that bottom arm forward. It's really hard, but we can do it. And then come back to your warrior two. So never give up on yourself. Always try. It's better to try and fail than fail to try, right? <laughs> left elbow on the inside of your left knee and twist, reaching up and over. It's like a big ramp. Palms are facing forward and down like a ramp. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> like, right, and taking that right arm now, if you're working on your shoulder mobility, trying to grab the top of that left thigh and get a little bit of a twist, really pulling that right shoulder back and then taking your body here if it's in your practice or if you just want to try it. If you guys are at home alone, nobody's going to see you fall, do it. <laughs> And if this is difficult for you, you can stay here. You can always try to advance. We're trying to give you different options in your practice today. And just for the record, his leg is taller than my body. <laughs> so that's pretty amazing. <laughs> Coming back up into your warrior two. Woo! <laughs> Exhale all the way down to your half push-up. <laughs> Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ha! <laughs> Most people hate down dog at the beginning, and then it becomes their resting pose. <laughs> so we're always challenging our mind, our body, our breath in yoga. Trying to keep our mindset right. Take your heels together, bend your knees out wide, step or jump. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Take your feet about hip width distance. Take your peace fingers, grab your big toes. And then inhale, look up, pull up, but keep a deep bend in the knee. And then just kind of hinging your body forward, allowing your arms to wing out. Head and neck is soft. Leaning your body weight forward, breathe. And then taking a bend in your knee, reaching up, grabbing the top of your back and coming up. Whew, I think it's so hot in here. Texas, baby. I know, right? Wait for him to get and even off. So um, taking a big step out to your right, Hands up on your hips, inhale, look up, and then as you exhale, hinging at the hips, just going all the way forward into your straddle legs. Again, trying to lean that body weight forward, using your core to try to pull your chest through your legs. And then interlace your hands behind you, keeping your palms together. So we're not risking our shoulders and then taking your arms up and over. And then slowly coming up into your yogi squat. What, what? <laughs> and just take a second to really press your knees out and try to get your spine high. This is so good for so many different reasons. Taking your hands down in front of you and just kind of gripping onto your mat, come up onto your tiptoes. And then squeezing your knees into the back of your arms, taking your butt up with you, and then just try to lean forward. Maybe you'll play with one leg, you sit here and you really, really try, or you can take both legs up. Again, if you fall out, get back in. You never know how good you are until you try. And that's a big crow right there. <laughs> so much concentration, so much more goes into practice than people realize. So just, I'm going to give him one, one thing that he hates. <laughs> but, <laughs> so coming up, broken toe pose. Yo! <laughs> coming back onto your heels. Yeah. <laughs> and then coming up into your boat. <laughs> Hold. So again, we're always trying to take ourselves so 
somewhere else because it's going to get difficult. Your poses are going to be hard. Your breath is going to be out of control, but we hold. Breathe. If we focus on the struggle, that's where it goes. Cross your legs coming up onto your knees. Interlace your hands in front of you. <laughs> All right, so for this next pose. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> for this next pose, Bridget gets a little ahead of herself sometimes. <laughs> this is more of an advanced yoga pose. If you haven't, it's a headstand. If you haven't done it before, I don't suggest doing it, especially if you don't have any like, supervision. But uh, this pose right here, it just takes a lot of, a lot of core, a lot of concentration, and your breathing is super important as well. So I'm going to attempt it, but I do want to put that disclaimer out there that please don't attempt this unless you have a yoga instructor yes. or you have prior yoga practice or and especially not against the wall yeah ever. i don't ever. ever do it against the wall so so I i'm said, just gonna go into where you should start working on and uh i'm sure he can show you the rest <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you're interlacing your hands in front of you make sure your elbows are just kind of um you know, exactly right underneath your shoulders and they're not out too much. Uh, so you never want to like risk your shoulders. Our shoulders are super delicate. And so taking that hairline into the mat, so my head is not going to go into my hands and I'm not going to be on the top of my head, but I'm squeezing my hands and then my legs are going to come up into down dog legs. And I'm just going to keep trying to walk them forward. Maybe I'll, are you going to? I was gonna let you do it first. No, no, no! <laughs> oh no, no! <laughs> so I'm just gonna play where I think people need to start working, which Got is it. right here. No, the actual pose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so you can just kind of keep playing, or if you're back here too far, it's gonna be so difficult. Don't try to kick up. That's not how we do it. We need to find that foundation. And so coming up and trying to take your knees here. Or you can just be a cool seven foot yogi like that over there. <laughs> and so, yeah, once you get comfortable and you can take those legs back, you can stack and it just becomes a very comfortable pose. Inversion, breathe. Total body control right here. And then slowly, whenever you're ready, coming back down into child's pose. <laughs> these are rare. I don't do these much in class, but you can always take a child's pose. Your body, your mind, everything. Your physiology is in a different place every day. So on the days you're good, challenge yourself. And on the days you're struggling, listen to your body. And then reaching both hands over to the right, and pressing, and just kind of pull back with that left hand, getting a nice side body stretch. And then switching sides, pressing away with the left, pull back with the right. Hmm? You want to do Will? Yeah, we can. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Got a little bit of time left. All right, now. Yeah, because I was going to do, like, you want to do Ken or, or Will? Do yeah, Will. All right. That's <laughs> what I like to hear. <laughs> all right, so taking your heels all the way to the butt. You want to walk us through that? Sure. <laughs> all right, so this one, I'm going to take your heels all the way to your butt. And you're like, flat your back. Then you're going to push up, put our hips to the ceiling. We want to make sure that we engage our glutes when we're doing this. We take both hands, interlace them together. Try and work those shoulders in and push up even more. You're going to hold this for a second so you're comfortable. It's never one of those positions. Like, this is a pretty, it's really going to make you work. So if it's too much for you, back off. You want to challenge yourself, keep going. So next, keep both your hands behind you. And you're gonna push over to your wheel. What? what? <laughs> and this just 
displays flexibility in so many different areas, chest, shoulders, hips, everything. This is such a great pose. Not an easy one, but a great one. And we hold as long as we can. And tuck your chin. Very good instruction. <laughs> Windshield wiper the legs. And boat! <laughs> it's like my favorite thing. <laughs> and then slowly lowering down for three, for two, and one. For time's sake, we'll go ahead and go into Shavasana, the hardest pose of the day in yoga. This is where we have to just quiet and be with ourselves, which is so hard for people. <laughs> Such the hardest pose for me in the beginning. But such an important pose, letting our body absorb our practice. So for time's sake, we might just be up for a Sapasana. That, uh, that last like, pose right there. See how difficult that was? Just my quietness running. <laughs> That's a resting pose. So after your practice is done, you want to try and hold that. Really, just take as much time as you need. Some people fall asleep in that pose. It's just uh, it's a, good, it's a good relaxing pose. And um, that was just a small glimpse of what we do. Like I, <laughs> we we do at least very at least ninety minutes yeah. <laughs> to about two hours of practice. But um, I've been practicing yoga for about seriously for about three or four years now. I think it seriously helped my game. You know, being seven feet tall, six foot eleven, whatever, whatever you want to call it, being seven foot tall, um, you have to be able in the play position I play, you have to be able to be nimble and be able to be flexible and just um, excuse me, have muscle endurance. And that's another thing that helps with this with this well. The other thing it's helped me do too is before games, I take time to breathe and uh, meditate, if you will. And uh, I've learned a lot of that through yoga itself. And yoga is not easy, man. I think that it's uh, it's very underappreciated. And a lot of people are trying it more and more now. And it's something I feel like you can really get into, especially with a time like this where there's not as much for uh, the basketball stuff I'm doing. So I uh, appreciate you guys for joining me today. I think it was a quick flow. I'm glad you guys were able to you know, be here and uh, just kind of get a little glimpse of what I do, a little bit of my off-season training. Um, you know, this is just a small you know, glimpse of what I do. I mean, I work out about three or four times a day. I uh, lift weights, I run, I do my basketball, and I do yoga. So, um, this is just another day in life for me. Um, you know, be sure to follow me, turn on this one miles. Um, and also be sure to follow Bridget Gibbs Yoga. Please. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, um, get, get at me, man. I think that um, with a time like this, you know, I think we need to be thankful for the things that we have. You know, I think me, me personally, I'm very thankful that my dad was able to fight the coronavirus and um, be able to pull through. You know, it was a very, very tough time for me. You know, he actually, he, he contracted it on my birthday, so. I was in a, the best way to spend my birthday, but you know, I'm thankful that, he's, that he is where he's at now. Um, stay safe, everyone. Please remember, social distancing is very important. The only way we can get through this is together. Um, you know, I can't wait to start playing again. Um, also, wash your hands. Wash your hands is a very important key. I don't think people are taking it serious enough. But can't wait to be back out on the floor. And you have Pacers. <laughs> See you later. Well, what? <laughs> and remember to breathe Just with your nose, not your mouth. <laughs>